Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros for CDA 3100 and uh, what I want to do now is to cover binary addition and overflow. Now to understand binary, I'm going to do a little bit of review here. Um, uh, let's take the decimal number uh, 734. Well that really is uh, 7 times 10 to the second okay, plus uh, 3 times 10 to the first plus uh, four times 10 to the zero, which is uh, 700 plus 30 plus 4. Okay, 10 to the zero is 1, 10 to the 1 is 10, 10 to the 2 is 100. Okay, and that makes 734. All right, well, now let's take the number 1010 in binary, base 2. Okay, <clears throat> that is 1 times 2 to the third plus 0 times 10 to the second plus 1 times 10 to the first plus one, 0 times 10 to the 0 which is this is 8 that is 0 that is 2 that is 0 so the number is 10 so that is the, the number 10 well now that we understand binary fairly well let's go in and look at addition okay what we're going to do for addition is we're going to start off with just two bits just to understand how things are added together zero plus zero is as you would suspect zero one plus zero is one zero plus one is one one plus one in binary is zero and then carry the one is one zero so that's how you do binary addition now we're going to talk about binary addition in larger numbers and in particular overflow. Overflow occurs whenever we have two numbers with the same sign and the sign bit changes. Let me show you what I mean. Let me do one first of all that doesn't overflow. Remember when I'm doing this that the leftmost bit is the sign bit. It represents whether it is a negative or positive number. So we're going to do 001 and we're going to add it to one zero one zero okay all right <clears throat> this is one plus zero is one one plus zero is one zero and one this is not overflow why is it not overflow well this tells us that it's not overflow first of all this is the sign bit and we're doing signed arithmetic the leftmost bit is always the sign bit the two bits up here are different and when the two bits are different there cannot be overflow the reason is is because you're adding a positive number to a negative number you're always going to get less of a number than you had before okay so that's not an overflow okay and to uh, show that let's look at what values these are this is the decimal number one okay this believe it or not is the negative uh, six. We know that because this is zero. Um, uh, this is worth one. That's worth two. Four. This is worth a negative eight. So negative eight and two is a negative six. So this turns out to be a negative five. Let's check that to make sure. We'll convert this back to a positive number. We'll reverse it. And again, look at my slides on two's complement, and then add one to it. 0, 1, 0, 1, and that is a 5. That is worth 1, that is worth 4, and that's 5. So that's a negative 5. Okay. Well, now let's look at one that is overflow. Okay. And again, the leftmost bit is the sign bit. So we're going to do 0, 1, 1, 1, and we're going to do 0, 1, 0, 1. This is basically adding 7 and 5 together in base 10. Okay. It should come up with a 12. Well, we've only got three bits to show the number in. Remember, the leftmost bit is a sign bit. These are positive numbers. When we add this together, okay, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry, plus 1 is 1, and carry the 1. So now we see here is that the sign bits here were the same, and the resulting sign bit is changed. This one is overflow. So that is a brief explanation of 
binary arithmetic addition and the uh, how to calculate whether it's overflow or not. Hope this helps you and look forward to doing the next one.